G'day folks, I'm Chris Thompson and I'm the Associate Dean Education in the Faculty of Science. And in this short video, we're going to talk about enrolling for your three year Bachelor of Science degree. So just a word of warning, if you're enrolling in one of our double degrees, it's actually the other video that you'll find on the same website that you should be watching right now. This one is going to focus specifically on our three year Bachelor of Science. And by the end of the process, what we're going to have is a full enrolment for the first year of your course. And it might look something like this. So in this block diagram, you can see I'm using different colours to represent science subjects and perhaps subjects from somewhere else in the university, what we call electives. And you should have eight of them. So we call these units, uh, but you might think of them as an individual subject. Now, across the course of your degree, you can do all science units if you really want, or you can do a mixture of science and a few electives from elsewhere in the university. But most of these units will be a six credit point unit. Uh, there are occasionally 12 and 24 uh, credit point units, but most of the time they're worth six credit points. So a full-time enrolment would be eight of these, therefore six times eight is 48, and you spread them across our two primary semesters. So that's semester one, which is in the first half of the year, and semester two, which is in the second half of the year. Now, a small number of you will be starting in the middle of the year, so you would be kicking off in semester two. But for most of you, you're starting around semester one. Now, by the end of your course, your course map will look something like this. So you've done a minimum of 16 science units, and you might choose to use some of your electives just to do more science, or you might choose to study things from elsewhere in the university. And I'll talk more about electives later in the video. But what's really important is that you don't have to lock in the second and the third year at this stage. Enrolment in the very beginning is only focusing on the first year. So that's gonna be the focus of this video. Now, all science courses, students will complete what we call a major. So this is a collection of eight units in a very particular discipline area, what we call an area of study. So you might think of that as chemistry or physics or mathematics, and I'll talk about the different choices later in the video. You can see that this is spread across the first and the second and the third year. And as you can imagine, the units get more challenging as you work through the major. Now, some students, not all, but some students might also, on top of their major, complete a minor in a particular discipline. If you like, a minor is pretty much half of a major. So you can look at all of the different discipline areas or areas of study and choose your majors and minors from that list. And we'll look at the list in a minute. In fact, here it is right here. And as these things pop up on the screen, there's gonna be some subjects that you've heard of before. Maybe you studied some of these things at VCE or at high school. There might be a few disciplines here that you've never heard of before. So the good news is, A, in the first year of your course, you don't have to lock in your major. The first year is all about trying a few different things and discovering what you think you might like to major in as a part of your course. So maybe try a few things you've heard of before and maybe go out on a limb and try something that you've never studied before, as long as you think it's an area of interest for you. Now, we've got the year split into semesters, as I mentioned earlier. So you would be doing four of those units in the first semester and four in the second semester. Each of these units has a unit code. And when we look at the handbook in a moment, you'll see that every subject has a name, but it also has this unique unit code. You can see some of the unit codes here and they're almost self-explanatory. Bio 1011, you won't be surprised to hear, is first year biology. PHS is physics, MTH is maths. EAE, in case you're wondering, is earth, atmosphere and environment, where we teach things like geography, geosciences and atmospheric science. Now, every single science student must complete what we call two sequences. Now here I've highlighted one sequence. So it's a first semester unit and a second semester unit put together in the same discipline, and that's what we call a sequence. So this is what we might think of as the first year EAE sequence. You can see I've also included a biology sequence and a physics sequence. Now in the green sections here, these are actually science subjects. 
where this student has chosen to use their elective space just to do some more science. They're doing some mathematics and they're doing, uh, well, that's a climate change subject as it happens. Now, here is the Monash Handbook. The best way to find it is just go straight to Google, plug in Monash Handbook 2021, and it will come up pretty quickly. So when you first go to the website, you'll find a search engine, plug in your course. You can type out the name, but usually it's quicker to type in the course code. So for the Bachelor of Science, that's S2000. Now, if you're doing a double degree, it might be one of these other codes, but let's talk about the Bachelor of Science. So S2000 brings up the course page, has a bit of a summary, a bit of a description of the course, the learning outcomes for the course, but the most important two sections are the structure and the requirements. Now, it's really important that you read the requirements. It will step you through the rules for the course, uh, talk about you know, what year levels you must complete to complete the course properly, and it'll talk about all those different majors that I was talking about earlier. Talks a little bit about the free electives as well, and I'll come back to that. Now, if you click on any of these areas of study, if you like the different subject areas, it will tell you how they work. So if you click on chemistry here, it will give you a bit of an overview of chemistry, what the chemistry learning outcomes are. But once again, most importantly, are these requirements. So you can click on these and learn about the first year and the second year and the third year subjects. It'll have individual unit codes. We'll come back to that in a moment. Um, let's uh, actually, let's look at one now. So Chem 1011, the first year chemistry subject. I'll just open that up in a new tab there. If you flick through, it'll tell you about that unit quite specifically. Who's the unit coordinator? How do we assess students in the unit? Uh, what are the learning resources that we make available? What are the costs? Do you have to buy a lab coat? Do you have to buy safety glasses? So the handbook's got everything. It's got everything you need to get your enrolment spot on. Just a quick look here at the free elective study. So in your course, you've got up to eight of those units or 48 credit points where you can study electives. So some students will just do more science. It's an elective, you can do whatever you want, but you might have an interest in, I don't know, studying some languages, doing a couple of law subjects, doing, I don't know, some accounting. It's whatever interests you. Um, you can even, if you choose very carefully, you can complete a major from another faculty on top of your science major. So all students still have to do the science major, but if you're very clever, you can squeeze a second major into your course in a language or something else completely different. It's what we love about the Bachelor of Science, this flexibility. So by the end of your course, this is what your course map will look like. At least it'll look something like this. But what's really important is you don't have to worry about that right now. The main thing that you need to worry about is just the first year. So to confirm your enrolment at Monash University, you need to have filled in these eight boxes with those unit codes using our online enrolment system. A couple of comments for students that maybe have studied elsewhere, you've done prior studies, I don't know, at another university or something you think you might be eligible for credit for, that's very much an option. For the time being, enrol in eight units, but then come and talk to our staff and put in a credit application and you never know you might get credit for prior study that you've done, I don't know, at a university somewhere else. In the meantime, good luck with enrolling and I look forward to seeing you when you arrive at Monash.